Uh, Rita joins us now. You're the rice queen. You're halfway there then, Rita. That's a low go and a half, isn't it? I'm the rice queen. What a thing to be known for. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I haven't, um, I haven't seen any of that and I kind of forgot because it was way back in January and I made a lot of rice. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? If you can master something, just do it. I don't know why you've put yourself through this, Rita. It's one of the most stressful shows to watch. Can I tell you, I don't know why either, but it was lockdown and theatres were shut. And I, I've been asked to do MasterChef a few times before and I've never had time or the chance to. We were all sat around doing nothing. So I was like, do you know what? I'll do it. Ooh, it was, it was... Terrifying. I'd rather do what I'm doing and perform at the Coliseum in front of 3,000 people every night than face those two. I absolutely it was, yeah. I was just going to say, what are they like when you're actually in the kitchen with them? Are the, are, do they have moments where the softness comes through or is it all terribly professional? Um, there's moments, but they're very few and far between. And there's four cameras on you and it's just so intense it's just so um you know you, you've only got like an hour and ten to make whatever dish and they're on you and they're asking and and I'm very much if I'm cooking leave me alone I can't talk <laughs> and so there was a lot of that but there was a few little moments of softness especially from Greg who's actually lovely yeah, yeah, they so, are. They are. It's hard not to crack. It does. It does help though when you've got a mate alongside you, and of course, Duncan James was doing it with you. So at least you had a bit of company as such. I did. I had my bestie. Um, it was lovely actually because you kind of look over at the bench next to you when you're like, <gasps> and Dunk's doing exactly the same as me. The only weird thing was not being able to mix properly because of COVID. So we were all very much, um, you know, separated in the green room, separated in hotels. Uh, and I hadn't seen Dunk for months. So it was nice to have him there. Nice to have that. What sort of a cook are you naturally, Rita, at home? Are you, you know, do you, are you comfortable in the kitchen? I don't love being in the kitchen. It's not my favourite thing. I like, I'm a mum cook, you know, I've got kids. I shove everything on the table and I say, dive in. And I make a lot of mum stuff. There they are. Yeah. Mum food. Mum food. I'm not cooked on blur, darling. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> with you entirely on that. I've seen that lovely picture of your girls there. And actually one of your daughters is following in your footsteps, I believe. She is, Maya is currently away. I can't say where and I can't say what she's doing, but it's going to be, um, I think in March it's coming out and she's doing a lead role in a drama, in a sci-fi. And I'm very proud of her. And she's been gone since the beginning of May and she's not back till the end of September. So it's... Uh, I can't say any more than that. Other than you are very proud. And she's only 15, isn't she? She's only just 15 and she's had to kind of, you know, um, it's so off putting seeing myself. I've got me and then me, sorry. It's, <laughs> I've got a delay on myself. Uh, she's had to do all the cleaning and the cooking and everything, you know, washing for herself. So it's, uh, I'm really proud of her. I bet you are, I bet you are. Now you mentioned being back on stage in front of uh, thousands of people. Thankfully, there are people back in the theater to watch you with Hairspray, of course. It must feel fantastic. It's incredible. Um, you know, the, the love that we get every night on stage is incredible. You know, people have had these tickets booked for so long and they're finally getting the chance to come and see it. And it's such an uplifting show. I'm knackered because we're doing eight shows a week. Um, there's the weirdest trio in there's the world. The, there's the trio. <laughs> the weirdest trio in the world, most unlikely trio. Uh, it, it's, oh, it's fabulous. Honestly, it's, um, you know, we had 18 months off. So to be back doing what we love and making everyone laugh and smile. Yeah, exactly. It, 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 you must feel the energy from the audience because we, as the audience, have missed it so much. Do you know what? We opened on whatever date it was, you know, we went full capacity. And the noise from 3,000 people going, ah, is just, it's, it's mind blowing every night. Um, and I think it'll be that way for, for quite a while. 
Mm -hmm. I bet it will. Well, it's, as you say, it's so wonderful to be back, Rita, and we look very much forward to watching you in Celebrity MasterChef. It starts next Monday at 9 on BBC One. Thank you so much, Rita, and send our love to your daughter as well. Good luck. I will. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Lots of love. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.